Whenever I think about clinical trials, I always think about World War Z and how they were skipped a lot of the uh, phases on uh, that new uh, cure uh, for that virus that they had. Um, they didn't really go through all the phases in World War Z, so I'm going to try to go through them right now. Um, in clinical trials, you're going to have four phases, phases one through four. Phase one is, is it safe? In phase one, you're going to have a group of healthy volunteers to determine whether the drug is safe or not. In phase two, what you're going to be concerned about is Does it work? Does the drug do what it's supposed to do? Now in phase two, you're going to have a small group of people with the disease that they're trying to cure. Phase three is concerned with Does it work better? Does the new drug work better than the standard of care for the disease? Is it more effective than the, the uh, first line drug on the market, the primary drug on the market? That's what they're concerned with. And in phase three, you're going to have a large group of individuals uh, with the disease that are being tested. And phase four is concerned with I think I might have spelled that wrong. But anyway, phase four is concerned with post-market surveillance. They're trying to see if four years down the line, five years down the line, something far down the line, there's something unexpected that they didn't know about. Um, so they want to keep monitoring the drug to make sure there's nothing unexpected uh, that comes from the drug. So that's pretty much it. Uh, clinical trials, you got phase one, is it safe? Phase two, does it work? Phase three, does it work better? And phase four, post-market surveillance.